How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Today we're going to be looking at um, another kind of version of the while loop called uh, Sentinel Controlled Repetition. Um, basically in my last video the while loop counted um, used a counter to control how many times the loop would execute but in reality often more often than not we do not know how many times um, we need a certain loop to execute such as in our gradebook here um, the last video in the while loop we only could um, set um, the scores for 10 students or average the scores for 10 students in the sentinel um, okay we're gonna look at the class before I get into that everything is pretty much the same um, but our calculate average is different so the sentinel value is basically an exit value which will cause the loop to stop running so here our sentinel value is negative one um, so again we're gonna prompt the user enter grade or negative one to quit store their in um, their input into grade and then while grade is not equal to negative one we're gonna test the value before we run our while loop before we execute the while loop each time so if, if it is if the input is not negative one we're going to add the grade whatever they entered to the total um, increment the grade counter we're using the grade counter for a number to average by um, and then we're going to prompt the user to enter negative one again and then store that input in grade and again if it's not negative one we'll execute as many times as we need to now this part will execute if grade count is not equal to zero which means there's more than one grade entered we can average that um, notice our double operator here um, because average is double we want to static basically cast these two integers to a double so what's stored in total and grade count will still be integers but the result will be stored as a double inside average um, inside average up here because we have it as a double so that's what we're going to do. We're going to average it, the total divided by the grade count, however many grades were entered. And then we will output the total and the average. And then if grade count is equal to zero, we're just basically um, no grades were entered. And that's pretty much how you would use the Sentinel um, repetition. You just want an exit value to uh, keep the loop, um, f uh, give it an uh, escape a way to uh, not run infinitely basically so we can look at our main program it's very short we just declare a new gradebook object we call that book one we're going to initialize that to English then we display the message saying that we are in the gradebook for English and then run our calculate average function so enter grades so let's try a negative one right off the bat and see what happens again no grades were entered okay however if we wanted to enter some grades let's go 88 86 92 and 94 negative one so we entered four grades so again we're using our counter here the total of the four grades is 360 and the class average is 90 or the average of the four grades um, however you want to look at it that is all we're going to cover for today I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you for my next video.